And that's the latest in the world of sports. Let's cover some stories making headlines from across the country before we shift focus to a conversation we had hinted about earlier on. Now, 45 counties have been earmarked for climate resilience grants from the locally-led Climate Financing Action Program. Speaking in Kisumu, the Environment Cabinet Secretary Soipan Tuya and her Treasury counterpart, Professor Njoguna Ndongo, noted that individual counties will present their earmarked ecosystems like forests to showcase the programs. For eligibility, county climate finance institutions should devote 1.5% of their development funds towards the County Climate Change Fund. Alan Ochanda reports. Deliberate efforts are underway to address the menace of climate change and the devolved units have been roped in as the main basis for climate action programs. Under the financing of locally-led climate action program FLOCA, 7.3 billion shillings resilience investment grant will be channeled towards the program. The absence of sufficient financial support to enable inclusive community development and even adaptation to climate uh, impacts would result in climate change pushing tens and millions, tens of millions of Kenyans, especially in the, in the local level, into extreme poverty. So essentially, we have a challenge to fight. We have a challenge to reverse. But we want to find this that we can coalesce around both at the national and county level as a showcase, as a demonstration of what we want to see of a holistic nature, climate action that will speak to the sec food security needs of Kenyans, that will speak to enhancing our tree and forest cover, uh, but also just reverse the, the immense degradation of our ecosystems that we see across the country. To be eligible for funding, counties had to put in place county climate finance institutions such as a county climate change fund, county climate change unit, and carry out a participatory climate risk assessment and action planning at the world level. <laughs> Yeah. The devolved units should also devote a minimum of 1.5% of their development towards the County Climate Change Fund, but their choice of the ecosystems will be respected. We are going to work with each and every individual county to earmark certain ecosystems that we can showcase uh, the design of the FLOCA program, but also the holistic nature of the ecosystem restoration plan that we want to roll out with the 15 billion tree initiative being part of it. Each individual county has their targets. Some counties already have world-based climate action committees and ecosystems like the Kakamega Forest, Maragoli Hills in Vihiga, Mount Elgon in Bungoma have been lined up for the program. Most of the pollution, most of from our lakes, from our towns, is all being discharged in the lake. And that's why we have major problems uh, in the lake uh, as a result of that. So we have quite a lot of challenges. Equally, our agricultural systems, the way we have moved from the original agricultural production system to our current systems has had a major impact on our production. All cabinet secretaries have also been allocated to counties to look after in terms of ensuring environmental adherence is well considered. Alan Ochanda, KTN News. And to a local news roundup, four people were killed in an improvised